so hi in the previous uh, uh, basically in the videos we saw that that how to you know install the different kind of software to you know set up one web application environment so what are the software we used first we installed the jdk second we installed apache uh, tomcat for web server then third we installed um, apache netbeans so and of course uh, jd for uh, database we require workbench mysql uh, kind of, uh, workbench and if you are performing any kind of jdbc uh, you know operations then we require mysql connectors so today we are going to start with the new applications so we are going to you know start with apache netbeans so apache netbeans and how to you know deploy first web application i mean how to create a first web application in apache netbeans so let's start this so you will go to the file then new project and then if these are the options you will see here java with maven java with gradle java with ant and even these are the project html related javascript related you can develop pcc plus plus also you can use php and sample so we are going with java with ant then in, in whenever you will explore this uh, these options java with on then you will be able to see java fx java wave java enterprise netbeans module so let's let's go with the basic web applications so you will select java wave the right side in the project sections you will be able to see three options so you, you need to select first uh, so that is web applications so let's proceed and then here you give the web application name so my first web okay this is just any name you can give whatever you want okay then let's go to the next then it will ask to set up the uh, basically apache tomcat server so you need to go here and um, you need to select what server you wanted to use here so there are different different kind of web servers available so we are going to use the apache tomcat which i already added here okay you can see in the previous video how to add the apache tomcat web server make sure this apache tomcat should be installed uh, you know before creating them and then this is the java versions so whatever java versions you might be installed automatically it will select then let's and this is a context path basically you can say um, the one folder is being created to you know uh, keep all the files related to that that project the web project so uh, this is the context path where all your files uh, will be saved so let's go to the next then don't select all these options now because these are the advanced options we are not going to you know, deal with spring java server faces and struts so let's go with the simple application so finish now you will able to see in the left side so many options okay so one folder is web pages another is source packages and then third is libraries and fourth is configurations fine so here this is the web pages uh, of course as name says this, this this folders will contain a different kind of web pages I, as you can see while uh, you, you created uh, i mean when you created a projects automatically default index.html page got created so let's delete this page because we are going to deal with the gsp only so we'll delete this page and we'll create one new page uh, okay and the page you will get you will click on the web pages folder and then new and you will be able to see in the right side gsp restful web services servlet java classes so many options so we are going with the gsp so let's give here index start index start. only index because automatically extensions file it will take so and the created file where it will save it will save inside the netbeans project then my first web uh, which you will be able to see in the uh, uh, while you was creating project in the this is context path then inside that wave is there and then index okay so finish okay so let's let's here so once you cre create the page few of the default um, you know uh, information you will get that is provided by netbeans so here in the title you can say this is just the html part because um, basically gsp is a combination of html along with java uh, java codes so here you can give change the title my first web application okay and now uh, we are going to the body part and here also um, i think hello bpdc this is this is 
first web application in Java okay so we we are good to go now um, we, we can you know run this code so let's run so yeah it's running properly as this is simple page so you will be able to see here that the web uh, server is using some port number so currently it is running on the local host even you can you can see the your you know laptop uh, pc ip address whenever you will uh, use your ip address you can replace this local host with ip address as well so that will run in the whole local area network so second one more option is there you can use the any browser so ide uh, this then uh, is the default browsers uh, so you can use either chrome yeah, any anyone so again whenever i will run it, it will go to the which web in the chrome fine so hope uh, you will be able to uh, know, understand this in the next video we are going to you know, uh, see the jdbc connectivity